You know actress Melody Thomas Scott from her more than 40 years on The Young and the Restless. Well, did you know that she's actually been acting since she was only three years old? I had a chance to sit down and talk with her about her very honest autobiography titled Always Young and Restless, in which she talks about her heartbreaking childhood and what she hopes will happen to her famous character, Nikki Newman. Melody Thomas Scott, what a delight to talk to you. I'm so glad you're joining our show. I loved your book for a number of different reasons. First of all, just how brave and honest you are. You talk about in the book that you were looking for normal, and I can understand why you were looking for that. How do you find it these days? That everything just seems so nuts. Frankly, I'm trying to make lemonade from it. Um, I, I'm really not bothered by having to stay home. I'm quite the homebody anyway. So um, I'm just enjoying this time and my best girlfriend has been quarantining with us from the very beginning. So we have tons of fun and uh, my husband puts up with us. <laughs> and of course my dog is thrilled. She will be very upset when things change. Melody, the book was a very raw and honest look at your childhood. You were raised by an abusive grandmother at times, she would allow men to sexually abuse you in order to further your career as a child in Hollywood. You said the home you were raised in was in complete filth all of the time. If you could say anything now to yourself as a little girl, what would it be? I would say, Melody, I'm very proud that you are able to see through to the end of this, that there is light at the end of your tunnel. And, um, you know, just stay strong and and i ended up having to become very strong mm. fortunately you sure did my goodness the character of nikki newman people know this character so well how often do you get approached on the streets by somebody who needs to give you a piece of their mind because of something <laughs> nikki did well that has happened although for the most part for whatever reason People always feel sorry for Nikki. It's like, oh, Nikki, you're on the wrong track. You've got to, you know, stop doing what you're doing. Uh, I, I don't get hit over the head with people's handbags in the grocery store too much. <laughs> Is there any adventure you'd like to see Nikki do? I mean, I know she's got a laundry list of things she's already done and the things that she's been through. Is there something you want to see Nikki still do? I have always wanted her to go stark raving mad and end up in a rubber room. Wouldn't that be great fun? Um, and I have been a little vocal about that to the writers, but it has not happened yet. I'm pretty sure your opinion should matter by this point, right? <laughs> you would think so, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Melody Thomas Scott, I appreciate your time so much. The book really made an impact and I encourage people to read it again. It's called Always Young and Restless, My Life on and Off, America's number one daytime drama. I wish you a lot less drama going forward for the rest of 2020. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs>